and I'm Gary, your uh, very talkative host, slow talking host. Um, I'm going to get a uh, attempt. Um, the only reason I'm going to uh, take this knife apart um, is I'm going to attempt to use a uh, knife oil. It's 100% food safe and it's 100% um, natural. So I'm going to use that to attempt to darken these scales. But in order to test it, I'm going to need to uh, take it apart. And I want to do the scales on the other side, on the reverse side, just to see. I need to keep this video short, under 15 minutes. So I may be cutting cutting some parts out um you don't need to see everything about the disassembly i mean i don't i always like to watch uh, disassembly videos so i i suspect other people do too um it's just not oh doesn't want to drop loose um, this knife is a got a good action well <laughs> not anymore because it's coming apart but uh, but uh, hopefully I will be able to get it back okay so I'm, I'm gonna do it right, I won't have to take all the way apart well yeah Unfortunately, I will to get to the other side. So, um, I will do this test now um, and see if this oil will darken it. And I don't know if it's a good test, being it's the other side, but it's not the presentation side. I just want to see it. You know, I, I I almost think that this is what they did when they took the photos of uh, this knife. Anyway, it 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 they probably darkened it for the hell of it because they wanted to make you know a nice picture. So a little a little technique of uh, photographing, <laughs> darken the darken the scales and kind of false advertising because the scales don't look like this when they come it's, it's, it's really nice I don't I don't know how the long of those this will last probably may last a week maybe last uh, two months may last forever but I really like it um looks better than this white part i just want to get rid of this uh that that's this lines so i'm gonna wish me luck i'm gonna attempt the other side now <laughs> and i use this uh black or citadel black knife oil on all my um knives to uh prevent rust i use i use it all all, all my fixed blades and all my uh um d2 blades that and it's it's food safe so you can actually get it on knives w w your chef knives and um you you can still use them so it's it's edible <laughs> i mean i i i'm not going to drink it but uh, and uh i contacted uh somebody that makes fixed blades i won't say their name because um i don't want them to uh get a bad rep and if it's not good but they re recommended this knife oil so does this 
look better than this one? I think so. I mean, let me know if you don't think so. I think this oil will uh, eventually soak in and uh, it will probably um, give some colors like that, but not that quite. It was it will probably stay dark. Um, I really like that better than this. So uh, I shouldn't say this, but uh, I have a, <laughs> a a procedure upcoming. Uh, not this Monday, but the next Monday. I think on the fourteenth, and I ha basically have to get a, a camera stuck up my butt for a, a, a coloss. I can't say the word just you, you know the procedure that checks for colon cancer so I'm not looking for looking forward to that um, I usually do this uh, do this do the test the easy test where they uh, stick a, You, you uh you uh sample some sample your poop and in it in a test tube and um last time I did that it, some blood came back in the test results so and so they said like there's no getting out around it I have uh, to get a camera stuck up my butt <laughs> this time unfortunately and I'm not I, you know I don't mind the, the camera getting stuck up my butt because uh, I, I will be knocked out um, the only thing I have not looking forward to is the results of this test and um, um, the procedure that you have to uh, basically drink a fluid and shit out an entire length of your bowels I mean in the intestines uh, that that I'm not looking forward to that procedure so if anybody's done it uh, feel free to share uh, it's it's like 348 on uh, both these scales Maybe that's the serial number. I don't remember being a serial number, but uh, maybe it's it's like that. I don't know. Uh, so I think uh, I think we knives make made this this uh, knife. I don't know why I'm doing it on, on the other underside, but it, it doesn't necessarily need it. But uh, what the hell? I'm, since I did the other side to test, and um, if and if it soaks through, it's uh, will keep uh, all that much uh, darker. You know, it's uh, on the, both sides, but. I already like these scales more than uh, I liked them earlier. So, all right. If you want to see the yeah, there's no number on the number on the blade other than the S35VN. So. Okay, I will probably edit out all this uh, putting together the procedure and get back to you. Okay, I got it back together. Um,
this uh, um, pivot, uh, you have you have to the liner lock is pr constantly trying to spit the knife off the pivot, and you have to hold the um, the pivot very hard with your fingers and still screw it in the back underneath the sca scale and it slipped once after I got the screw uh, all screwed down and uh, uh, the pivot uh, shifted and I had to take all the take the knife all apart again um, to get it uh, to uh, sit flat again so you guys you you you're, uh, you guys are that take wee knives apart you're probably familiar with um, that thing with the pivot the the machined out part and the machined out part of the scales that the, the the metal piece that needs to set in when the you have a letter that needs to be kept straight like the C and the CVV and the D and drop um, I probably could have added this oil to the knife without taking it apart but I just really wanted to take it apart and I really wanted to I mean I really wanted to test it beforehand so and since I, I am happy with it working I uh, will never have to take it apart again unless I need to clean it and hopefully that will be a long time from now because I I don't carry this one as much and I can't see myself carrying it a much it's just like a showpiece a good thing to have in your col uh, collection um, yeah the actions still great when I uh, got uh, got it um, the pivot Together, it just centered up you know perfectly um, I don't know if I showed you how the lockup is it's probably 40% lockup let me know if you uh, think the knife looks better with the darkened scales and I'll let you know if the uh, update down the road if the uh, it was uh, the mineral oil uh, sinks in there and um, the scales come back as the lighter version you can already you see if you look in some places it's already soaked in there and uh, it's starting to turn a little bit lighter as especially up in the front so I don't know, I'll take it out tomorrow and look at it and just I'll probably see it. It's like oh it, it just soaked all the way in. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for uh, joining me. So, um, I don't know if I'll get around to reviewing this little baby. It's the Finch 1929. I really like this knife. So take it in, you know, if you don't have one or have never seen one. I'm sure all, re all you guys have. It's been around for a few months. Maybe six months. I don't know. But um, this is new because uh, it's an exclusive. The scales. I, I really like it. Alright. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.